Ah, a fellow outsider in this inhospitable sea of ash. I wonder if we might help each other. Dreleth Hilaron of House Redoran at your service. Though I doubt I'll be very useful here. This is Ashlander country, and they've made it clear I'm not welcome. It's my fault, really. I made a mess of their customs when I arrived. I'm researching for my family's ancestral tomb, you see. My research led me here, to Aldrin. It's hard to believe, but I think my family may have settled here for a time. When I arrived, I immediately started asking questions. I was... overzealous? Unfortunately, yes. I wonder if we might aid each other. Despite my missteps, I do know a great deal about Ashlander culture. I could help you earn their favor. In return, you could find out if they know anything about my family's tomb. First, pay respect to Farsia Kwamta. She walks the red path this year, and it's customary to wish her well. Request to take part in the offering to the first Ashkans. Do that, and you should be able to ask their wise woman about the tomb. You'll see a great bonfire in the middle of the camp. She'll be there. Look for the woman with the blindfold. Part of the ritual honoring her ascension from Farseer to wise woman. The wise women guide the Ashlanders on matters of faith. Even the Ashkans defer to them. The blindfold represents the need to look beyond what the eyes can see. The annual pilgrimage to honor the fall of Scar, the great Emperor Crab. The Ashlanders claim their ancestors united to bring the beast down. They gather here to celebrate the victory and bring offerings to the cairns of the first Ashkans. Fathers of the four largest Ashlander tribes. Long ago, they united the Velothi people under one banner to kill Scar. The tribes often quarrel, but during a celebration, they greet each other as friends. I wish the houses had such a custom. Yes, the Hilaron ancestral tomb. My family's crypt has been lost for centuries. Most of my kinsmen gave up searching for it decades ago. They assume it's been destroyed or lies too deeply buried, but I remain optimistic. I discovered a tablet hidden away in an ancient Velothi temple. It contained a cryptic reference to my family. In the shadow of Scar, we found our home. The Ashlanders call the last Emperor Crab Scar, so the tomb must be nearby. The tribes gather here every year, beneath Scar, to pay tribute to the first Ashgans. Do you know the old Velothi saying, all stones speak the truth? Well, no one knows these stones better than the Ashlanders.
You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's the Nereverine, and incites the tribes while I tried to keep them all from doing anything rash. You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander. And the House Elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the Tribunal, before they claimed to be gods. Until they betrayed him. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. The Nerevarine is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar will be known as the Nerevarine. While the prophecy of the Nerevarine can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevarine I believe in. He uses an Ashkhan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers. Ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. His words become more forceful every day, but I hope to dissuade him from this violent course. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness, more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim, as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. You too? This is ridiculous. 
I'm sorry, Talena, but my wife insists we try a real mage. What is it?
such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works, even though every calculation is precise. Now an interruption. How infuriating. Wait, wait. Sometimes the great gear turns from frustration to opportunity. Define energy. I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sothis Seal's nine analyses of the exalted enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about to determine the correlation between color and time, and I could use another set of hands. A reciprocal exchange. Interesting, yes. I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Very well. Just activate the crystals in the proper sequence while I modulate the energy flow. Less chance of an explosion that way. Such a waste repeating words. Activate the crystals in the proper order. It's all about colors, like a rainbow. Make a mistake and reset the mechanism using that lever, unless it explodes. You'd be surprised how often that happens. Set the mechanism and try again. Reaction I was hoping for. but not in the proper sequence. Try again. Set the mechanism and try again. A good start. Keep going. Correct. So far, so good. Such are the benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Thank you. Now, why do you want to know about divine energy? Saint, how intriguing. 
I was just thinking about my former master, Sir Basile, and the experiments we conducted. He desperately sought to understand the power he and his companions attained, especially whether or not that power was temporary. Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. He could extract it and return it as he saw fit. Not sure what became of the tool, but here are my notes from those days. More questions? Well, Lord Sophie Seal attributed curiosity to intellectual superiority. Suppose I should do the same. Ask, and I will attempt to tighten the cogs of your ongoing education as best I can. Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? A saw? A Dwemer spring spanner? No, it was just a tool. A device crafted by Sophie Seal to aid in his endless experiments. I suppose I could imagine ways to modify the device, but... For what reason? Hmm. Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off when you don't stay vigilant. I had a guar that used to swallow tools when I wasn't looking. Glowed for a month until the enchantment dissipated and the tool passed. I should have heard the screams. I was his apprentice, but that was years ago. Spent time working in the Clockwork City. That's what I learned about energy transference, Dwemer engineering, mechanical symmetry. Made me the Dark Elf I am today. But I have a question. Who sent you? The Arch Colonel, Lord Vivex High Priest. Suddenly the gears align. I can think of a number of reasons that Alm and V would want to know about C and his tools, but some doors just shouldn't be opened. He's the father of mysteries and the architect of time. One of the Tribunal, the three living gods of the Dark Elves, creates all sorts of helpful and intriguing devices, like the Clockwork City. I haven't seen my old master in many years. It's a wonder and a miracle. All brass tunnels, glass domes, and giant gears. He was inspired by the work of the Dwemer. But the Clockwork City is pure so for seal. <laughs> he made it to forge the future and reshape the world. I learned a lot there. Outlander, over here! This requires a considerable amount of effort, so just listen. We have a problem here. Return to my office immediately. 